In this Apple AirPods advertisement you can see a really interesting effect where the text dissolves into particles. And today we will create something similar in After Effects. So let's start by creating a new composition and just leave the normal settings. And let's first of all add a text with the text tool up here and just write in whatever you like. I'll just use a standard sentence. And yeah, first of all, let's scale this up by pressing S on the keyboard to access the scale settings. And let's also align it to the center with the align tab down here. So just align it vertically and horizontally. And if you can't see this tab, just make sure it's checked in the window settings, just like this. And yeah, now let's select the point in our composition where this thing should explode into particles and then hit Control shift d on your keyboard to yeah, cut this text and duplicate it into these two pieces basically. And on the second one we will now apply the effect which is responsible for this particle explosion. And yeah, the effect is called CC Starburst which you can just look up in the effects and presets tab or just find it under simulation. And yeah, now we can see this looks super weird. So. Yeah, we obviously have to change a lot of settings. So first of all, let's bring the speed down to zero and also make sure you are exactly at this point where this whole thing should start. So exactly at the cut. And let's also bring the scatter down to zero. And now we can see we get the, our normal text, which is a bit yeah, pieced up into particles. And yeah, make sure to put in a keyframe in the scatter setting. So just check this little thing so it turns blue. And yeah, let's also increase the size a bit to something like 150. And let's also keyframe the size and maybe increase the width spacing to 5. And yeah, this is good. And now we can forward where we want this to end basically. So like one or one and a half seconds maybe. And now we can yeah animate this. So bring the scatter up to something like 22, just like this. And decrease the size to a small value like 20 maybe so actually yeah the this whole particle thing will dissolve and yeah if we play this now i think this already looks super cool but we can even perfectionize it a bit and first of all maybe you can see it if we zoom in we can see that these yeah spheres or points have a bit of shading and i don't really like that and sadly there's not an option to turn that off so I'll just add a fill effect to just, yeah, fill it with the color and let's just make it white again, which is just a small detail, but I really like it. So yeah, now we have this thing, which is quite cool. And let's also make it to fade away with the opacity. So let's go, yeah, let's open this up so we can see where we place these keyframes. And let's also yeah open up the transform settings and just go in the middle between these keyframes and put in a keyframe yeah, at opacity which should be at 100% by default and then just go to the end and bring the opacity down to zero which will even yeah, add a more nicer fade out effect just like this and yeah I think this is perfect in the Apple example these particles were also a bit blurred so they were not 100% perfect like these ones so let's add a Gaussian blur effect and increase the value to something like yeah maybe 5 which I think looks quite cool just like this this is super exactly what we want and yeah that's it already but I think a, a huge step to make it even more nicer is to add the motion blur on this one but we sadly can't yeah, add this on top of these effects so we first of all have to pre-compose this so just right click and make sure to pre-compose it hit ok and yeah now we can apply a motion blur effect so just look for motion blur and let's just apply the pixel motion blur effect just like this and i think the default value is a bit too low so yeah i like to increase it to something like 550 which will yeah as you can see make it just stronger and yeah that's it already this will yeah maybe take some time to pre-render or maybe your after effects crashes because mine did like three times while recording this tutorial but yeah this time it's 
thankfully worked out. And I think this is super cool and yeah, maybe you can even make it more nicer if you play one with more effects or more of these settings. But yeah, I hope you learned something new and hopefully see you next time in this series.